Okay, so now we want to find the radius <laughs> given this information. Okay, so we, from what we've got here, we know that the arc length is six centimeters. And we know that the area that's shaded, this whole area, is 12 centimeters squared. And we're trying to find the value of R. We don't know the angle, and it's not necessary to solve this problem. So let's start off with our formulas. We know the circumference. and the area of a sector. Let's take out our formula packet. And the length of an arc is the angle divided by 360 times 2 pi r, and the area of a sector is the angle divided by 360 times pi r squared. Okay, so using that information, let's write those formulas down. 360 times 2 pi r, and this is 360 times pi r squared. So we know this arc length, the circumference is 6. And because it's the um, the arc length, and we can rearrange this to solve for theta. And so let's multiply three sixty on both sides. So I get six times three sixty equals theta times 2 pi r. And what are we doing? We're solving for theta. And then we can divide both sides by 2 pi r. And then we end up with um, theta equals 6 times 360 divided by 2 pi r. Okay, let's simplify this a tiny bit. 6 times 360 divided by 2, and I get 1080 theta equals 1080 divided by pi r. Okay, so now I can use this value in here to simplify and solve. So we know the area of the sector is 12 centimeters squared, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this value here and we're going to substitute it for theta. So we end up with 12 equals one oops one thousand eighty divided by pi r times pi r squared over 360. So this is the value of theta, right? I substituted theta with 180 divided by pi r and multiplied it times pi r squared divided by 360.
Okay, so now we're going to be left with just uh, R. So we've got um, 12 equals. Okay, so first of all, this pi is going to cancel out with that pi. And one of these R's will cancel out with one of those R's. And I've got 180 divided by 360. So we've got 180. 1080 divided by 360 times R, right? The pi's cancel out. This R cancels out with one of those R's, and we just have a single R. So uh, what is 1080 divided by 360? We get 3, so I end up with 12 equals 3r, and then the final step is we divide both sides by 3, and we end up with r equals 4, and the units is centimeters. You might want to hit pause and copy this down. Next problem. Okay, the diagram shows a circle with center O and a radius of four. Okay, this is the radius, I'm gonna put a four there also. Okay, uh, points A and B are on the circumference of the circle. Angle AOB is theta. Find the area of the shaded region in terms of theta. Okay, so what we have here, this area of the shaded region is equal to the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. And using our formulas, area of the sector is the angle divided by 360 times pi r squared and the angle, the area of a triangle is one half and the sides on either side times sine of the angle. So let's put all this into place. So the area of the sector is theta over 360 times pi r squared. And <clears throat> minus the area of the triangle, which is one half um, four times four times sine of the angle. Why did I put r squared? We should have put four. So we have theta over 360 pi times four squared minus Okay, so let's simplify this a little bit, and we get um, um, in terms of theta. So we got. Uh, <coughs> We've got a 4 squared here and a 4 squared here. We can take 4 squared out here, and we have theta over 360 pi minus 1 half sine theta. And there is our formula for the area for the shaded region in terms of theta. Okay, I could have written 16. Hold on. Okay, question B. The area of the shaded region is 12, find the angle. Okay, so, so for question B, we're gonna say um, 12 equals 
Okay, so 4 squared is 16, right? So 16 times theta, 360 pi minus 1 half sine theta. Hmm. We'll have to make a second video on this part.